This is the same amount of bourbon that would be in an old fashioned, but lemon and mint turned into a summer drink, which is magic. Whiskey sours, as they're normally constructed, kinda don't all the way work. Like, they're not bad. Just like bourbon or rye, lemon juice, and simple syrup. It's not bad, but the problem is that in alcoholic mixtures, when they get too cold, tannins become really astringent. So the tannins that are in the oak, that are in the bourbon or the rye, when you shake it up, it just sticks out like a sore thumb on kind of the, towards the finish of the tasting experience. One thing that you can do, and the most popular thing, is to add an egg white. The proteins in the egg white bind to the tannins and makes it all smooth. Another thing you can do is just through misdirection. Where the tannins would be astringent on the palate, you just add something else to distract yourself from that. So there's a great cocktail called a New York Sour that has just a little bit of red wine on top of a whiskey sour, and that does it perfectly. My favorite way, especially in the summertime, is to do it with mint. And if you do it with mint, it's called a whiskey smash. To make a whiskey smash, we start with three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now, if you look at all the recipes for whiskey smashes on the internet, almost all of them tell you to cut a lemon into quarters and muddle the quarters into the bottom of the glass, into some sugar. The reason they do that is because they are trying to get as much of the lemon oil as possible that when you take actual lemons and you muddle them into the bottom of the glass, you ablate the skins and you get a bunch of lemon oil so it's very zesty. And they're right that that's absolutely delicious. My favorite way of doing that is just to take the peel of the lemon and just drop it in the tin like that. And the reason I prefer that is because when you're muddling lemons, it's just really imprecise. You have no idea how much juice you're getting and then you have to adjust later. To match those three quarters ounces of lemon juice, I do three quarters of an ounce of one-to-one -one simple syrup that is equal parts sugar and water. It is literally the simplest syrup. Please don't buy simple syrup. By the time it takes you to find your keys to go to the store to buy the simple syrup, you could have made simple syrup. It literally takes three and a half minutes. And two full ounces of bourbon. So I like a sweeter style bourbon here. I generally think of bourbon as sweeter styles and spicier styles. The sweeter styles, Buffalo Trace, Woodford Reserve, Four Roses Small Batch. These tend to go with mint a little better for me, and things like mint juleps especially, and here, and Whiskey Smashes. The spicier ones I like more, uh, Bullet, Old Forester, the ones with higher rye. I like those in more kind of stirred drinks, I just, personal preference. I think sweeter bourbon works better here. And last but not least, the star of the show, we're doing six to eight or so mint leaves, and we're just gonna throw those right in the tin. Now, a lot of times you'll see in how to make a mojito or something, people muddle the mint. We're gonna shake this guy up. The ice is gonna do that job for us, so we don't even need to worry about it. We don't need to muddle the mint. Grab yourself a rocks glass and some ice, and then we're gonna shake, add ice to our cocktail shaker, and then top it off and shake. It's going on ice, so you don't need to shake it as long as possible. If I was straining this off ice, like up in a martini glass or something, I would maybe shake it for 10 to 12 seconds. But because it's going on ice, six to 10, it's fine. And then I've got all these mint bits in here, so I'm gonna use my double strainer because I don't want any of these mint bits floating around in this drink to find their way into my teeth to make a fool out of myself in front of my guests. So, double strain. over fresh ice, and garnish, as always, with a couple crowns of fresh mint. Now, you'll see in cocktail bars sometimes, you'll see bartenders grab the mint, and they'll give it a little shake. They'll maybe bump it against their wrist, or you could even give it a little, a little clap. Just a gentle bruising of the mint really releases the aromas, which is especially good for when you are about to take a sip of the drink, and you bring it up to your face, the first thing you get is this big hit of mint right before you take a sip. This is a whiskey smash. Let's try it out. Yeah, so the great thing about whiskey sours, like simple whiskey sours like this, is that you get all the wonderful notes from the bourbon, 
all this kind of like caramel and vanilla and oak, but you don't get any of the astringency. It's just when you add lemon juice and simple syrup, it turns it into a summer drink. And then if you add mint, it turns it into an amazing summer drink, which is a magic all its own.